Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how you can develop a login form in PHP with Remember Me option. When you see in the login form, you might have seen that there is a checkbox Remember Me and if you check this, the email ID or user ID which is used for the login will be saved for next login. Let me show you the application I have developed in PHP and MySQL with Remember Me option in login form. So in the browser, I type localhost remember me. So it gives me the home page where I can log in. See here it says click here to log in. So I click here. So it gives me the login page. Let me enter the email ID and password. So this checkbox is for the remember me option. So if I check this, this email ID will be set. So let me log in now. So login is successful. It's showing the username and the email ID. So if I log out and then click here to log in. So it shows the email ID which I used previously and remember me checkbox is already checked. So let me now show you without remember me option. So I enter the password, uncheck this and login. So login is successful. So now it is not showing the email ID. So in this case, it is not showing the email ID because I unchecked this in the last login. So let me now show you how you can develop this using PHP and MySQL. Before that, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification for the new video. So let me show you how we can develop this application. I have got XAMPP installed in C drive and under htdocs I have created a folder remember me and these are the folders and files I am using. So let me open this in visual studio code. So here are the folder structure and under cfg folder i have dbconnect.php which is used to connect to the database i am using a database called demo here and then css for the styles i am using and these are the php file i am using i have a sql file to create the tables that is being used here for the login so i am using a table which has email id name and password and i am inserting one row in this table just for the login purpose and there is an auto increment field. So let me show the database. So I'm using the demo database and a table called users for these applications. The structure of the table is this email ID name, password and sign up date. And there is a row in this table. So now let me show you the PHP code that is being used for the remember me option in the login system. Now this is my home page and then I have a login form. So let me show you the index page here. This is my index page and here I am checking whether user is logged in or not by using dollar session. So if user is logged in, I am displaying the username and email ID and a logout option. But if user is not logged in, then I am showing the login link. So here you can see that I am using header.php which is the HTML header that is used here. I am using bootstrap and a custom style here. Now let me show you the login page. Now here if we see here then the login page, email ID and password is entered and remember me checkbox user may or may not check. And once user is submitting the login form, then this login.php is used where we are checking if the form is submitted or not. So here, after the form is submitted, I am getting the email ID and password in two variables and checking if remember me checkbox is checked or not. If it is checked, then I am using a dollar remember variable to store the values. And then after uh, generating the MD5 
hash of the password and just selecting the values from the users table if there is a match found that means login is successful which will give me the number of rows greater than zero and then i am storing two session variables i am here i am storing the name and email in the two session variables name and email and this is the part of the code which is used for the remember me functionality here i am checking if remember is checked then i am setting two cookies here here one first cookie is remember email and giving the value and then giving an expiry time of one year second cookie is for the remember which means the checkbox and this is also expiry time of one year and value of remember so set cookie function is used to create the cookie here but if the checkbox is not checked then this else part will be executed which actually removes the existing cookie so here you can see remember email this is the cookie name and it is setting a time of negative and time minus so it will be deleted actually so both these cookies will be deleted if already set and then i am redirecting the user to the home page and obviously if password or user id does not match then we'll give a message here incorrect user id password let me now show you the form here so in the login form we have email id password and remember me now for the remember me option to work for the login page we have to use cookie here to check whether cookie is set or not while defining the input field so here is my email id field and in the input email id i am using a value here if you see value if there is a cookie existing or not for that email id if the cookie is set then i will be displaying the same cookie value which is actually the email id similarly for the checkbox also for the password we don't have to do anything but for the remember me checkbox again we have to see if cookie is set or not here you can see if cookie is set then we will be displaying we actually will be checking the checkbox so what we are using here say let me show you uh, let me show you the i am giving the incorrect password and then login so this value is already displaying because i don't want user to enter the whole email id again so that is why we are using here not empty dollar email you can see here similarly for the checkbox also so if i cancel it here it comes to home page now if i log in so it gives me the log out option here if i log out it will be logged out so i have a logout.php here so it's nothing but i'm setting the session variables and it's deleting the session and redirecting the user to the home page so this way you can develop the remember me option in the login page using php and mysql hope i could explain it properly if you find it useful please give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done already also if you have any suggestions or any questions you can write in the comment box you can visit the website codehowto.com for this topic detailed development steps are given in the website you can download the code for free you do not even need to sign up for that links are given in the video description below hope it will be useful for you thank you for watching the video